Now let's talk about some of the redundancy options in your QSA system and show you how quickly the system can recover from a hardware failure. In a basic signal path, your core is connected to your network through which it communicates with any I.O. frame. Now you can have a backup core on your network as well as a backup I.O. frame. And since every core and every I.O. frame has two Ethernet ports, you can also employ a backup network as well. Now, in addition, you can have an amplifier redundancy with the help of QSC's DAB801, which is the data port amplifier backup panel. Now, we're going to simulate a possible failure for each of these elements so you can see for yourself how the system reacts. Now, you can see in our design here that we have a core with a backup, an I.O. frame with a backup, as well as the DAB801. When we save our design to the core by pressing F5, you'll see here that we have a status bar for our core, and a green LED lets us know that the primary core is running. Our amplifiers and I.O. frame are still initializing, but as soon as they're finished, then we'll hear our audio player, which you can hear right now. Now we're going to simulate a core failure by unplugging the power to the actual unit. When the primary core fails, the network will switch over to the secondary core, and as soon as that core is active, we'll receive a notification of what has happened. Next, we'll simulate a failure with the I.O. frame by unplugging it as well. Once again, we'll get a brief interruption in the audio while the core reports the situation, and the backup I.O. frame will switch from standby to active mode. The amplifiers all shut off, so there are no pops in the system. As soon as they're back up, our audio is restored. We can also unplug the Ethernet cable. And because this network is redundant, you'll notice that we won't have any audio dropout as long as one cable is plugged in. We can take one out, trade one in for the other, and the audio will continue uninterrupted. Finally, we can simulate an amplifier failure. We can unplug this amplifier, and the DAB801 will switch the system over to the backup amplifier, and once again, our audio path is restored. That completes the redundancy demonstration for the QC signal path. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.